What is the status of your relationship with Scotty? Best friends. Yeah. We are. We co-parent the same. And we you are officially love each other. divorced. Yes. Yes. I know he's he drew the chair. Does this video 100% pertain to the sport of basketball? Most definitely not. But I'm pretty sure you guys clicked on this video for a reason, because this story is absolutely wild and, well, I decided to cover it. So before we get to the content, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and turn on our notifications to help the channel grow. We're giving away copies of NBA 2K23 on my Twitter account. There's only like 300 entrants, so you have a pretty good chance of winning NBA 2K23 if you follow me on Twitter. And on Instagram, we're dropping codes on both. Now that we got all that out of the way, cue the intro. My ch- Oh, damn, my neck. Ah, ugh, ugh. My check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? Man, we have not covered a Larsa Pippen story in quite some time. And as a matter of fact, I think me and my good friend Jamari both are like racing to make this video for you guys. So make sure you check him out. He's on the way to a million subscribers and he's probably gonna cover this as well. But for those of you guys that don't know who Larsa Pippen is, she was at one point Scottie Pippen's wife. And this story is really insane because Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan have had a very strange relationship recently, which is really weird because in the past there would be an analogy. Like say if you have a good friend of yours and you're like playing Fortnite duos with him, or you have a great ear pong partner that you're just absolutely crushing the competition with, you would say that you and him are like the equivalent of Pippin and Jordan. Like Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippin are pop culture icons to the point where you would literally refer to your best friend or someone that you're having a lot of success with as your version of Pippin and Jordan. And it seems like Pippin and Jordan haven't been close recently. This all has started when the Last Dance documentary dropped a little bit over two years ago, where Scottie Pippen initially remained silent and then came out with this gigantic GQ sports article saying that Michael Jordan couldn't have been more condescending if he tried. Now bear in mind, man, in the Last Dance, Michael Jordan actually praised Scottie Pippen multiple times. He said that he would not be able to win the championships that he won if he did not have Scottie Pippen on his team. Scottie Pippen did have some low points in the Last Dance documentary, one being the fact that he took a very small contract for the duration of the Chicago Bulls career. And in a season where Michael Jordan wasn't on the Chicago Bulls, Scottie Pippen decided to sit on the bench during a pivotal game in the NBA playoffs because Phil Jackson wanted to draw up a play for Tony Kukoc. And I'd say those are the only low points in the Last Dance. But in this article, Scottie Pippen mentions things like on each episode of the Last Dance, it was the same. Michael was on a pedestal, his teammate were secondary, smaller. The message no different from when he referred to us back then as his quote unquote supporting cast. From one season to the next, we received little or no credit whenever we won, but the bulk of the criticism when we lost. Michael could shoot six of 24 from the field, commit five turnovers, and he was still in the minds of the adoring press and public, the errorless Michael Jordan. Now here I was in my mid 50s, 17 years since my final game, watching us being demeaned once again, living through it the first time was in Salting enough. Over the next few weeks, I spoke to a number of my former teammates who each felt as disrespected as I did. How dare Michael treat us that way after everything we did for him and his precious brand. Michael Jordan would have never been Michael Jordan without me, Horace Grant, Tony Kukoc, John Paxson, Steve Kerr, Dennis Rodman, Bill Cartwright, Ron Harper, BJ Armstrong, Luke Longley, Will Purdue, and Bill Wennington. And I apologize to anyone that I've left out. To make things worse, Michael received 10 million for his role in the doc, while my teammates and I didn't earn a dime. Another reminder of the pecking order from the old days. For an entire season, we allowed cameras into the sanctity of our locker rooms, our practices, our hotels, and our huddles, our lives. And then he even mentions that on May 19, 2020, Michael Jordan texted him saying, what's up, dude? I'm getting word that you're upset with me. Love to talk about it if you have time. And that he was upset at him because of the last dance. Here's the thing. At the time that we did make content on this article, I just assumed that Scottie Pippen was just going through it. I mean, it was not a good year for Scottie Pippen. 2021 was very embarrassing considering how Larsa Pippen was literally running around with a mid-level player from the NBA while she was still with Scottie Pippen. So the most recent info we have in regards to this potential one-sided beef 
beef was Michael Jordan apologized to Scottie Pippen for covering the playoff series against the Knicks, where Scottie Pippen refused to go into the game on the final play in the last dance. And to be honest, I understand Scottie Pippen's perspective here. What did that one moment in Scottie Pippen's career have to do with Michael Jordan's The Last Dance? This had nothing to do with Michael Jordan. There's no reason to remind the world of this one low point in Scottie's career. I actually get that. And Scottie even said, I asked why he had allowed the 1.8 seconds game to make the final cut. He didn't say much other than to apologize and to acknowledge that if it were him, he too would be upset. I didn't press any further. I knew it would do no good. And to be honest, man, if you remember that one clip in The Last Dance, like Michael Jordan was even burying Scotty a little bit, saying it's always gonna come back to haunt him at some point in some conversation. Pip knows better than that. But Scotty Pippen didn't only have beef with Michael Jordan. He also had a side beef with Phil Jackson, which we're not gonna get into that because I think I gave you enough background to understand the significance of what I'm about to tell you. So yesterday, we got this viral clip from TMZ of Larsa Pippen Pippen and Michael Jordan's son in Miami, which is absolutely insane if what is being insinuated is being insinuated. So here's what the article says. Scotty Pippen's probably not gonna like this. His ex-wife is in Miami, seemingly getting cozy with his old teammate's son, and not just any teammate, it's Michael mother freaking Jordan. <laughs> Larsa Pippen was spotted Sunday at Zuma, a Japanese restaurant right in the heart of downtown with none other than Marcus Jordan and the two Two of them were told appeared to be on a double date of some sort with another couple at their table. So like, if you look at this picture, man, they're right next to each other. They're fairly close with one another. Dude, Larsa Pippen probably knew this guy as a baby. Like what the actual f they obtained photos of the pair sitting down next to each other during lunch and apparently leaving too, with Larsa Pippen leading the way and Marcus following closely behind. Eyewitnesses tell us that they were there for about 45 minutes and that there were no obvious signs of PDA between them. However, our sources say that Larsa seemed to be trying to keep a low profile and got a little skittish when she realized folks had spotted her slash were taking pictures. She's been in town this weekend with her girlfriends, hosting some sort of retail store reopening at the Adventura Mall, which is well documented on her social media. What wasn't shown though as who else might have been in her orbit and now it looks like we know. Mike's second oldest son was tagging along and the age difference isn't as drastic as it usually is with Larsa Pippen would be so's because Larsa is 48 and Marcus Jordan is 31. So it's a 17 year difference give or take. It also catches us up with Larsa Pippen's latest escapade saying she's been living her best single life for a while now. It has been rumored to have been romantically linked to a number of dudes in their 20s over the past few years or so, yes. including Ben Simmons, Harry Jowsey, and more memorably, a married Malik Beasley. So I don't really like digging into the personal lives of people, but what I am curious about is what the hell this is gonna do to Scottie Pippen and his potential beef with Michael Jordan. I mean, you could already tell that Scottie Pippen already felt belittled by Michael Jordan. He's already felt kind of alienated from what's supposed to be the most iconic period of his life. And now you have Michael Jordan's freaking son going out with Larsa Pippen. What the hell is my freaking job, bro? Let me know what you guys think about this story in the comment section down below. This is absolute insanity to me. And I think there's going to be a gigantic fallout from this, which we're obviously going to cover on the channel. Aside from that, I'm your boy, Mike. And I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.